Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lightning Kind YouTube channel. I'm Manny. As you probably know from my Call of Duty videos, today's actually going to be a different video on the channel. Some people wanted a bit more variety on the channel, so I was like, you know what, guys, you can have it. This is actually a FIFA 16 Ultimate Team series. Now, FIFA 16, I've been playing FIFA for a long time. The title has uh, really reached out to me when I was uh, quite younger. I used to play a lot of football. I used to like FIFA a lot. And I still do like it, but I don't like it as much. But I wanted to start getting into it, and this is the series called Payet's Pursuit. Now, if you don't know, it's going to be a series about Dim Dimitri Payet, who's a West Ham French centre attack in mid, who's absolutely insane, and I think he's one of the most underrated cams. You can see him. If you look at all the football shows based around the PPL, he's upcoming. Everyone's saying he's upcoming. He's probably one of the best cams in there at the moment. You could put him against Ozil and De Bruyne, and that's what I'm going to do with the series on him. You guys may notice that some of these... Some of these game, some of these players have actually played a game for me because I'm actually recording this part after I played my first game. So just to make sure, guys, there's going to be actually the game highlights after this little intro. So I also can do a draft series in this thing in the the Pirates Pursuit series. If you guys want to, I could do like a special episode for maybe ten episodes. I could have the drafting. That could also be some, something that we could do. But basically, I'm going to run through the main rules of the series for you guys. So every goal we get with Payet, we get an upgrade. Every assist with Payet, we get an upgrade. Every goal with other player counts us towards like a half goal sort of thing. But basically, if the opponent score and we, one of our players score, it just neutrals it completely. But e e say if they score 1-0 but Pyatt scores 2, we'll still get 2 upgrades because we're not going to decrease the goals or upgrades that we get just because Pyatt did score. Now, you can see it spoiled a little bit. I did score 3 goals if you guys can notice that. Uh, three goals with Pyatt in the game. It was an absolutely insane game, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm going to love the series. I really do like the thumbnail that I made for it. I know I'm not the best at making thumbnails. I'm trying to learn more how to do them better, but I actually do believe this is one of the best sort of thumbnails that I've made on the channel. So if you guys can please drop a like on the series, comment if you think it's a brilliant idea, if you want to see more of it, and also please go and share the video to your friends if they like FIFA, or welcome to a lot of FIFA. Uh, viewers because I know this channel's been mainly COD based for the past month so I'm gonna try and switch it up give it a bit of variety also comment any other games that you want us to play I do have NBA if you guys want to see some more sports games so I can probably do that for you guys now just to say I do like all the support that's been on the videos I do believe at the time I'm making this video we're at 40 or 49 subscribers so if you can please tell anyone to subscribe to get us to 50 subscribers that would be absolutely crazy guys I would love that so much we have been running the channel for about a month and a half right now and to get this much support is absolutely crazy also go and follow the twitch and the twitter I might be streaming some of uh, the Pirates Pursuit on Twitch and probably turn, recording the clips and turning that into a video so you could see me play live or you can come play with us on COD if you want to do that on streams. It's coming up to the end of this intro clip. I'll see you guys in the highlights of the game. Peace. Before playing our first game we had to see what sort of team we did have. This is actually a nice like default kit that I got. I do like the little blend of black, green and yellow but we did come up against a bronze slash silver French team. It actually has a lot of dangerous players such as Coleman and that other striker up top did cause me a lot of problems in this game as you'll see in the highlights. But getting into the first highlight of the game as you can see right now, uh, he did pick up a loose ball in midfield, he plays it through to his striker, bit of lag there, but he's through, I didn't know what to do, I was trying to cover with the centre back, he out muscles my defender by quite a bit and does slot it past the keeper and we're going 1-0 down, that is not something that we want to see in the first game but I was like this is the first game of Pirates Pursuit we cannot lose the main man picking up the ball again playing a nice through ball in to my bronze striker I don't really know his name parries it off the keeper and what a what positioning from my second striker picking up the loose rebound off the loose rebound off the goalkeeper and that was an incredible finish with his head going straight in for him so this guy was a very good player in the midfield he would play it up do very good hold up play he was passing it through the thing the midfield and as you can see here right each parries it against the keeper what what a save from a bronze goalkeeper that was absolutely crazy 
again. I do try and rush, uh, tackle for the ball in midfield. I try to get a good tackle in, but I unluckily catch the right leg of his player, and he steps up for the penalty. I'm trying to put him off. I believe he does step up for, step up for it with Coleman, as you can see here. Yeah, he does. I'm trying to put him off. I don't know what to do, so I'm just guessing. And what a save off from the keeper, off the post. That was absolutely crazy. And after this, I knew we can't lose this game. We're going to absolutely dominate this game. And as you can see here, pick up another bad touch from him. Uh, Green, who's an absolutely astounding player, I think. Uh, he's got so much pace, got passing ability, passes it to Pyatt. And the main man scores his first goal for the series right this moment down. This is the best moment in history for Pyatt to shoot. It's the start of it all. I believe we can do absolutely incredible things with this team. So I was I was playing really well at this point. I was trying to increase my shooting percentage off the off the momentum that we did gain from the second goal by Pyatt. So I don't know what I was doing, bringing my goalkeeper so far out. But we play it through. What a pass from a bronze striker to my other. This is a brilliant partnership. But what a finish! Left foot near post, absolutely beating the keeper by a mile. He was never going to catch that. And I believe that the team right now is just clicking so well. I've got Pyatt. I'm doing a couple of skill runs. Getting past a couple of players, try the ruler again here, picks up picks up the loose pass. Like I said before, this guy was very good in the midfield. He picked up every good loose pass. Considering his sentiments were bronze, we were playing absolutely crazy balls. Here we go, he picks it up, plays it back. I don't know how he out muscles and gets it past the keeper, but that's why you could say bronze keepers are very unpredictable and unreliable. He just plays it back, but the main man steps up again. We're not good. To increase the cushion to two goals again and the man himself gets us another two goals now if you didn't know we already have two upgrades because we scored two without Pyatt which gives us a neutralization factor and they scored two so they just neutral each other out and Pyatt gets the two goals he plays a loose, a loose pass out of the goal kick He's trying to get it away, but we do pick it up in the midfield. Brilliant play by Paya and my centre mid. Paya gets through. Paya, oh my God. Look, he passes it off the keeper and then off the post. I was so unlucky. That was going to be the hat trick for Paya. So unlucky. Sorry, I did actually miss this goal, guys. I did miss record it. But you can see now it was an absolutely incredible goal by Paya. It was a run down the ring by my right midfielder, passing it in. What a strike from Paya off the bar, but the determination to get back up and go for the header was absolutely crazy and that's why I do think this guy is probably one of the best players he's got brilliant all-round stats and you guys should pick him up he's about a thousand coins in game for really cheap now due to the market crash he was about 10k at the start of the game but considering how his price just dropped you can see him here just getting through the mid uh, in brilliant position to get into the midfield get into the box chanting shots here we go beautiful shot off the bar what is that and another one off the bar this is absolutely crazy game by the end of the game we could see my one of my striker did get mad a match Payet did get three goals plus the hat tricks which is four or any player upgrades that we can have for this team so please uh, I've already chose two of the upgrades I think I believe I did upgrade the goalkeeper and the striker uh, I just wanted to have a more attacking prowess option but if you guys have enjoyed the video please drop a like please drop a comment I'm Danny I'm out